In late 1994, Compaddon was launched. On this site, players could upload Doom demos and compete for fastest level completion times. It was not only limited to beating levels as fast as possible, there were other demo categories too. These categories range from beating levels on Ultra Violence with 100% kills and secrets, also known as UV Max, to more unusual challenges such as beating a level on Ultra Violence without harming any demons directly, also known as UV Pacifist. In a relatively short time, most challenges of the four commercial Doom games were completed. All Ultimate Doom levels were individually beaten in Nightmare difficulty, just like Doom 2 and Plutonia. Even some boss levels were beaten in UV Pacifist by exploiting some engine quirks. But still, after over 20 years, there were still map-specific challenges that were deemed impossible. Let's go check them out. The first challenge deemed impossible was beating the Cyberdemon in E2M8 without directly harming him. This is a boss fight, and you must kill the boss to finish the level. Other boss levels in Ultimate Doom have demons that you can use to kill the boss. The Barons can fight each other in E1M8 by exploding a buck with barrel explosions and specters. The Spider Masterminds in E3M8 and E4M8 can be killed by other demons. The only way to indirectly harm the Cyberdemon is by using the Lost Souls, but they are way too weak to kill the Cyberdemon. The Cyberdemon will always retaliate and kill them in one hit. There is, however, a way to exploit some engine quirks. Lost Souls are a bit strange. They always forget about their target after attacking, unless the target attacked beforehand. If the player doesn't attack and the Lost Soul charges them, the Lost Soul will go to sleep after bumping into something. This quirk can be exploited to take down the Cyberdemon. Lure a Lost Soul to the starting area, let him harm the Cyberdemon, then let him bump into the wall and forget about you. The Cyberdemon is trying to attack the Lost Soul now, so you don't have to worry about him. Using another engine quirk, get the Cyberdemon stuck, then swing your fist to wake up the forgetful Lost Soul, and the Lost Soul will try to attack you now. The Cyberdemon is stuck and cannot retaliate against the Lost Soul, and he will slowly die. Four Shock Blast is the first and only person to pull off a successful E2M8 UV Pacifist run, first done on March 9th of 2017, so over 23 years after Doom's release. Getting all secrets in E4M3 is deemed impossible. There's two triangle shaped sectors in this area tagged as secrets, but there's no apparent way to walk over them because of the torches. No matter how much you hug the torches, you will never be able to trigger the secrets. The only way to collect the secrets is to use the no clip cheat, and that of course is not allowed in demos. For demos, 90% secrets is considered all secrets, but 100% will most likely remain impossible forever. Beating E4M6 UV Pacifist was deemed impossible because of the obligatory Cyberdemon kill required to open the exit door. There's plenty of monsters you can use to harm the Cyberdemon, but like in E2M8, he's too powerful and will wipe down any demon with ease. You're gonna have to get him stuck again, but that's easier said than done. Reaching the Cyberdemon alone is a pain. The starting area has a lot of tight spaces filled with monsters. Once you reach this door, you're gonna have to camp there a bit, open and close the door for 5 minutes straight to take down most of the shotgunners and specters. Then it's time to lure the Kakudemons down to the yellow key area and go for the blue key. Now, that is just the easy part. Now it's time to kill the Kakudemons using the Barons. You must also make the Cyberdemon target the Baron so he's not focused on you. Then get the Cyberdemon stuck and wait for the Baron to kill the Cyberdemon. This can take between 1 to 5 hours, but you can speed it up by using the other Baron. Zero Master is the first and only player to pull off a successful E4 M6 UV Pacifist run, first done on January 7th of 2018, so 24 years after Doom's release. This was the last level to beat to complete the Ultimate Doom UV Pacifist table. Getting all secrets in E4 M7 is deemed impossible. There's 2 out of 4 secrets that are beyond the player's reach. The 2 sectors that hold the invulnerability sphere are tagged as secrets. One is too thin to trigger, and the other one is too high, and as we all know, Doom Guy doesn't know how to jump. There is however a way to maneuver yourself to the invulnerability sector. Do a line death skip to keep the bars lowered, open the secret door, let the bars rise, and use the Cyberdemon's rocket to propel yourself into the tiny alcove. It is incredibly difficult to pull off, but it shows that 75% secret is technically possible. Credits to 19duke84 for showing this trick. For demos, 50% secrets is considered maximum secrets, but 100% will most likely remain impossible forever. Let's move on to Doom 2. A pacifist run of Doom 2's Underhouse was deemed impossible because of its huge amount of shotgunners and tight corridors. The only way to pull it off is to do a very specific glide, do some trickery with explosive barrels in the blue key section, and absurd luck. Let's start from the beginning. Pulling off the glide alone requires large amounts of luck. Mind you, this is a very precise movement trick and there's hit scanners shooting you in the back. When pulled off, you have to run past this group of shotgunners and drop down. Down here you can use the barrels to make the monsters kill themselves. Under ideal circumstances, you will end up with a couple of ibs. 
lure them into the blue key room and lock them in there. Up next is to clear out the hit scanners close and beyond the blue door. Lure them to the pit and make them infight each other. When there's only one shotgunner left, run for the exit. Zero Master is the first and only player to pull off a successful map 2 UV pacifist run, first done on September 8th of 2017, so 23 years of the Doom's release. Getting all secrets in map 15 was deemed impossible, because of a very thin secret sector. It is next to a teleporter, so the player will teleport out before its midpoint touches the secret sector. Fortunately, there is this meatball demon you can use to exploit a pretty obscure bug. You can lure this pain elemental to the broken secret and let him spawn a lost saw inside of you. The player will clip through the floor a bit and trigger the secret. Zero Master was the first one to make use of this trick on August 30th of 2018 and did the first real 100% UV Max run of Industrial Zone. A week later, on September 7th, beginning at the first real Nightmare 100% Secrets run. Even with 100% Secrets possible, players are free to omit the secret for 100% completion demos. Icon of Sin Pacifist. Well, this one is obvious because you need to shoot rockets to kill the final boss. And that's not a very pacifist thing to do. You can tell why this is deemed impossible. But let's go nuts. You can use an arch file to launch yourself to the exposed brain. But we're not there yet because Doomguy is too tall. When you die, your height is set to zero. That way you can slip through the skull opening. Okay, so what now? What if I told you the Icon of Sin manages to spawn a couple dozen arch files, each setting you ablaze, flinging your burnt corpse through the skull opening? and that you can use the explosive flames to kill the final boss? Yep, it's that ridiculous. And mind you, the chance of an archfall spawning is like 0.78%. So yeah, Zero Master did a tool assisted speedrun on October 10th of 2018 to show it is technically possible, but it is unlikely anyone will ever pull this off on a real run. The luck and precision required are astronomical. Let's move on to Final Doom's TNT evolution. TNT's human barbecue is filled with hit scanners and not a lot of health. The regular Nightmare Run was first completed in 2003 by STX Vile, 7 years after the Final Doom's release. A Nightmare Run with 100% secrets was deemed impossible because of the required backtracking. Backtracking into areas filled with respawn shotgunners and chain gunners and low health is a recipe for disaster. Beating map 2 on Nightmare 100% secrets requires an unreal amount of luck and skill. And Calagon is the first and only player to pull off a successful map 2 Nightmare 100% secrets run first done on July 10th, 2015, so 19 years of the Final Doom's release. Map 5, Hangar, UV Pacifist, deemed impossible. Why? Let's analyze the starting area alone. This is a 96 unit wide corridor with 5 shotgunners and at least 6 imps. You're gonna have to find a way to get past them without dying. It's technically possible through infighting, but the amount of luck required is inhuman. Fortunately, you don't have to deal with most of the levels since you can do a key grab at the beginning, but it doesn't make the map any easier. Zare did a 2 assisted speedrun on June 1st of 2017 to show it's technically possible, but it's unlikely anyone will ever pull this off on a real run. The luck required is legendary. Alright, Metal, some more hits scanner hell. This map was considered impossible even on Nightmare difficulty, It was completed relatively fast by STX file back in 2003. The real challenge is a pacifist run. There's hit scanners everywhere. The beginning has near unavoidable shotgunners blocking you, and the final area is a giant room with hit scanners everywhere. The entire map is horrible, and was deemed impossible to do UV pacifist. You can skip the final room, however. There's a void glide bug you can abuse to go out of bounds, but you're still gonna need to deal with all the hit scan in the beginning. Like most pacifist runs, the amount of luck required is insane, and the void glide requires extreme precision. Zero Mast is the first and only player to pull off a successful Map 8 UV Pacifist run, first done on January 3rd, 2018, so 22 years after Final Doom's release. Now, will we ever see a run without the out-of-bounds exploit? Very unlikely. Let's consider this challenge completed anyhow. More hits can hell incoming! Stronghold is infamous for having the most enemies of any commercial Doom game level, and let's safely say about 90% of them is hit scan. The entire level is a network of small rooms, tunnels and hallways filled with hitscan. It was deemed impossible to beat a nightmare difficulty because of the lack of health pickups, backtracking and respawning zombies. Finally, 14 years after Phantom Doom's release, on January 18th of 2010, Xit Vono managed to pull off a successful nightmare run. This was the last level required for a full series nightmare completion. What about Nightmare 100% Secrets? 
You're going to have to deal with the Berserk secret which involves a lot of extra enemies in very claustrophobic tunnels. Then there's also the rocket launch secret where you're going to have to deal with respawn chain gunners. Because of this it was deemed impossible. But never say never. On July 20th of 2015, Angelagon managed to pull it off and is as of this day still the only player to successfully beat map 9 on Nightmare with 100% secrets. This is also the last level required to complete the full series Nightmare 100% secrets table. But we're not done yet with this level. What about a pacifist run? Impossible. It's like map 5, but with the amount of monsters multiplied by 50. To give you an insight how ridiculously difficult this is, no one has even done this too assisted. No one will ever beat this level UV pacifist. Mark my words. So, this will be our first entry where we'll have problems getting 100% kills. TNT's map 15 has monsters inside the sunken sector that cannot see or hear the player. There's no way to alert them and you cannot reach them, so it was deemed impossible to kill them. You can, however, use Kaku Demons to propel them towards the hidden monsters, then use the rocket's infinitely tall splash damage to wake them up. Lost Souls also work. It took over 23 years to kill these two hidden demons without cheating, although there are reports of this trick being discovered in the early 2010s, just never executed during real runs. For demos, these two kills are omitted, so 97% kills is the minimum required for a 100% completion demo. Ballistics is deemed impossible to beat UV Pacifist. The reason is quite simple. The part where you drop down using lifts, there are specters blocking your path. This renders the normal path impossible to traverse without killing the specters. There is however a way to do a Pacifist run in cooperative mode. You can shoot another player onto the exit altar using a single SSG blast. But of course we are talking about single player challenges, so this is not viable. There may also be a way in single player to use the Revenant missiles to boost you to the exit, but it's unlikely you can make the jump using a single missile. Perhaps possible with multiple, but it's not viable to pull off outside a 2 speed speedrun. Time to check out the final commercial game, Plutonia. Cod Yard is deemed impossible to beat UV Pacifist. It's like Doom 2 is dead simple where you need to kill Mancubite to proceed, but at least in Doom 2 you can use a rocket jump or a phantom press to skip the killing part. Cod Yard has some zombie men, a chain gunner and barons. None of them are capable of killing all Mancubite. A chain gunner can kill maybe one or two Mancubite tops with some luck, but will get killed eventually. So, still not done after 23 years not even too assisted, and very likely it will never be done. Plutonia's map 26 has a broken secret which was deemed impossible to trigger for the longest time. But just like in Doom 2's map 15, it can be triggered using a pain elemental. Zero Master was the first one to make use of this trick somewhere in August of 2018 and did a first real nightmare 100% run of this map on September 2nd of 2018. Even with 100% secrets possible, players are free to omit the secret for 100% completion demos. Getting all kills in map 27 was deemed impossible because of an unreachable archfile that cannot be harmed. But in reality it can be harmed, it just requires a lot of rockets and some luck. When you shoot rockets into this corner, some of the splash damage will leak through and hurt the archfile. The archfile moves around and only a specific area will damage him. The trick is to stockpile on rockets and unleash them all once everything but the archfile is dead. With a bit of luck he will die. STX File was the first player to fully 100% this level on Ultra Violence on July 25th of 2013. Even with this trick discovered, the Archfall kill can be omitted for demos. Not surprising to see another icon of sin being impossible to beat on UV Pacifist. The one in TNT can be skipped by using an Archfall jump to the deathmatch exit by the way. It's technically possible by using Archfalls to jump onto his exposed brain and using the Cyberdemon's rockets to kill the final boss. Extremely tricky to pull off but not as crazy as Doom 2's. Lightspeed did a 2 assisted speedrun as a proof of concept on May 21st of 2016, but no one has completed a real run yet as of this video's production. So as you can see there are still some unfinished challenges left for the 4 commercial classic Doom games. Of course, there are other bigger challenges left like a full TNT Nightmare 100% secrets run, but we kept the scope small for simplicity's sake. The only feasible challenges that I can see completed without 2 someday are TNT Map 5 Pacifist and Plutonium Map 30 Pacifist. Both will require an unreal amount of luck and grinding, but we shouldn't underestimate those dedicated Doom Gods. Don't forget to check out the description to see links to see some of these former impossible demo runs. All of them are very impressive and worth watching. Also, leave a like as it will help out this channel a lot, and if you enjoy more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.